We're busy cooking here. We're cooking black paella or black rice and squid in olive oil. But our main feature, our favorite, bulanglan or vegetable guisado, will be showing you how to prepare moringa or malungay. The ideal vegetables to mix with it and how to use non boneless bago. Warm welcome wherever you are in the world and welcome to Channel 1 where we grow, cook and share. We are at a remote location so there's a slightly different format. Join me here on Channel 1 for some learning and fun. Further away. <laughs> I'm beginning to wonder how we would call this. I don't know how do we call this recipe today, but my objective is to cook this moringa or malungai, which came from the Philippines. Ideally, traditionally, it's combined with uh, squash. Perfect combination of squash in this. And they will add camote, but instead of camote, I'm adding runner beans, broad beans rather. This thickens the sauce. Zucchini and aubergine. I'll show you first how I prepare the vegetables. Broad beans. It's the season for the broad beans. You can use any beans you have or camote if you prefer. And watch closely now as we show how to strip the moringa. And if you find the instructional as well as the entertaining value of this content, I invite you to subscribe, click the bell icon so that you won't miss our next upload happening weekly. And that allows us to break them. Look, we've got three strips. This is what we want from the fruit, the soft flesh. Squash softens the a bit strong uh, flavor of the moringa. So it's recommended to add it. Or pumpkin. And preferably the most mature ones that you can find. Pour the te chewy texture. The kill that kunaming elokano. And here's a glance of the vegetables we are combining the moringa with. And resuming our stir fry. The pan easily burns. It's thin, but for viewing pleasure, I'm using this. Otherwise, it's all the black. It will all the black. This is Koya Robert. Hi. It is him. Hey. It is him who brought this from our Pangasinan. Yeah. But he did not bring bagoong. I have. That's more important. Do you have bagoong from yeah. the Pangasinan? Then get it. Because I don't trust any other bagoong. <laughs> this Pangasinan. See, this is bagoong too, nice. Oh. Hindi yun yung muna mo. Muna mo nga, this is it. Hindi, may mas maganda pa sa muna mo niya. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, Sige. Mas mahal eh. Sige, lagyan mo dyan. Ay, ito yung ulam to. Yung... Ano ba okay. tawag nila? Muna mo. Sige, mas sige. Mas mahal pa sa muna mo. Anchovy or tirong or the same family of anchovy-like fish. From the Lindian Gulf. Okay. And from the Mediterranean as well. In the order of the difficulty, I'll start with this. this because this cooks uh, the longest. I mean, it takes the longest time to cook. You know, I should have peeled the beans because the skins are hard. They're a bit mature. Okay. While waiting for that, uh, while waiting for that, we'll show you. We from Gasinansis will show you how to add uh, oh. bagoong, the non-boneless, because it's from a boneless bottle, just pour it. But this is how to do it. It's not boneless. This is not boneless. Show it, Ludo. Close up. So this is pagoong is that from Lingayan. Look, it's not molded. So this has to do it. Yeah. Done. And then 
We add hot water. Is it really hot, Mano? No. Boiling? No. Okay. <laughs> I forgot the tomato. It should have been added first, but it's no problem. Okay. It doesn't matter that very much. Look at the color. <laughs> Good. This is how to use non-boneless baguong. Add hot water or water from your stew and just yeah. Tad-tad ko namin Ilocano. We don't have a word for that in Tagalog or in English either. Fermented fish always dissolves in water or in oil. Boiling water or oil. Or some do this like do, some do it like this. My mother used to do this. Not like that, not with just so. See? You might not believe that even the Italians use this, but the anchovy fillet in their pasta and in their meat dishes, and that results in the same flavor as we have in our vegetables too. Yeah? Good. When this is about to cook, let's add the rest. The, the rest easily cooked, that's why this way. Good. Okay. It's been boiling for more than five minutes, so I'll add the rest. Notice the amount of water, it's very minimum. Or very minimal because uh, this vegetables contain much water. around 8 to 10 minutes at medium flame this will be done and ready to serve and voila our humble bulanglang or vegetable guisado or vegetable stew sharing it to our homesick expats here in vienna join us again next time as we bring you more flavors from the garden and from the kitchen your cool and uncle here romilo thank you